I never realized this dialogue scene actually existed in Ocarina of Time. I know I'm going to get grilled in the comments of this Zelda video for not catching this sooner. I'm totally prepared for it. I. I think, but man, I just got to talk about it with you, Zelda crew. I'm a fan. What can I say? I'm excited. Why have I been so blind? And I call myself a legit Zelda fan. Sad face. What's good, Zelda crew? D-Rock here, and I literally can't remember for the life of me how many times I have actually beaten Ocarina of Time, but it's definitely up there <laughs> for sure. I've gone through so many runs and have done numerous Zelda Nuzlocks to make it harder on myself. I've 100% of the game multiple times, and I've even done the classic three heart run on Ocarina of Time. All of that being said, and after literally exploring every single inch of Hyrule, this conversation with the soldier in the back alley of Castletown in Ocarina of Time really hit me, Zelda crew, and it made me stop and think about the events that unfold in this game in a completely different way. I think it's pretty important here to touch on some of the lore because it's only going to help better explain why I love this missable dialogue in Ocarina of Time. After Link retrieves all of the spiritual stones, he returns to Castletown to inform Zelda of his success, right? But as he starts to cross over the gates, our hero witnesses his nightmare quite literally happen right before his own eyes. Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle in an attempt to steal the Ocarina of Time, and Princess Zelda was then forced to flee with her loyal attendant Impa on horseback in order to keep the Triforce from Ganondorf's hands. As she passes Link on the drawbridge of Hyrule Castle Town, she throws the Ocarina into the moat right next to the castle. What a throw, I might add, <laughs> to give him the chance to enter the Sacred Realm and retrieve the Triforce. In hot pursuit, Ganondorf charges across the drawbridge on horseback, blasting Link with dark magic when he tries to stand in his way. After Ganondorf gets done overpowering the young Link like it's not even close, he speeds off in pursuit of the princess. Now most of us, especially on the very first run through of Ocarina of Time, will more than likely dash straight away to the temple after receiving the Ocarina itself, right? I mean, it's only logical, you feel this sense of urgency that you have to go straight to the temple as soon as you can. In this point in Ocarina of Time, Zelda has just been taken away by Impa, her Sheikah guardian in Ocarina of Time, in order to save her and Link briefly encounters Ganondorf as he chases after them. There is an extreme sense of urgency here to obtain the Triforce and protect Zelda. The dialogue that takes place in the back alley is just so easy to miss. Ocarina of Time's Castle Town Market has a simple, and it's pretty straightforward as far as the layout, but you can find the castle, the Temple of Time, and the exit all directly off the main market square. So, when Link runs from the encounter with Zelda and Ganondorf at the drawbridge to the Temple of Time, there really is no need to turn onto a side street, but that's exactly where this unusual and quite literally pretty dark cutscene takes place. But before we move on, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for more Zelda content. This just lets me know as a creator that you actually enjoy these Zelda videos I create. I appreciate you. In Ocarina of Time, in a back alley of Hyrule Castle Town, after acquiring the Ocarina of Time, young Link can come across a soldier slumped against a wall. This is the soldier's last dying words. Ugh. Are you, are you the boy from the forest? I, I have something to t tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's nanny, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. The princess was uh, waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, hurry to the Temple of Time. Absolutely insane, right? Now this encounter is essentially the game steering you back into the right direction, I guess. But the reason this interaction left such a huge impression on me is that the soldier dies right when the conversation ends. These are the famous last words of the dying soldier. The only other non-monster death young Link witnesses is the passing of the Great Deku Tree 
who dies after Queen Gulma, the cause of the curse afflicting the great Deku Tree, is defeated. Seeing a Hylian die in front of him is shocking, I'm sure, and I'm willing to bet that this moment scarred the young boy for life. I think that it also brought to light the dire reality of Hyrule's current situation at the time. I absolutely loved this moment. This is arguably not the worst interaction to miss out on in Ocarina of Time as its best Epona moment can be missed entirely if you traverse the bridge into Gerudo Valley without her, not saving the loyal horse from Lon Lon Ranch at all. Now if you were like me, Zelda crew, and you never witnessed this encounter before, I think it's something that you should really try and do the next time you do an Ocarina of Time playthrough. The scene between Young Link and the Dying Soldier, I think you just need to encounter it. It's just very interesting and a unique encounter in Ocarina of Time that I think a lot of us are gonna miss. If you wanna watch some more Zelda content from me, make sure you click on this video right here. I'll talk to you over there, Zelda crew.